What's up? Just keep it simple. So today we're going to cover back and chest. We're going to get started with back first. Now this first exercise, guys, is called inverted pull-ups. It's different from the normal vertical pull-up when you're hanging from the bars. We just hit the back from a different angle and it's kind of a, a precursor to the normal pull-up exercise that you can do. So it'll get you prepared for that, all right? So basically, you're using your body weight, guys, and I want to make sure that at the gym that you're at, that you get to a Smith machine here. And this is, you can push this bar up and down here, okay? And for my height, I'm going to put it on level two. For those of you who are tall and have longer arms, you may have to take it to level number three. All right. So basically, guys, you're going to start off on the floor, of course. All right? Now, once you get under this bar, guys, you want to make sure that your shoulders are directly under the bar. All right? And this bar has grooves on it, okay? So I want you to take your pinky finger and put it right on that groove. That just ensures that your arms are even across the board. Now, as far as your legs here, guys, I want you to put your heel on the floor here. Your toes are pointed towards the ceiling, all right? Your quads are nice and tight. Hamstrings are tight. And of course, your abs are engaged. All right, so let me demonstrate this first, okay? Shoulders under the bar, and you just pull it up your weight. Now, when you go down, don't touch the floor, okay? You want to keep that range of motion from here to here. This is your range of motion. All right, so let's demonstrate. Pull up, down, up, down, up. Don't lock your elbows, okay? Pull up, chest is here, down, up, down. Now guys, you're just using your body weight here, okay? It's going to help you build the strength in your upper back. So when you're strong enough to move to the vertical hanging pull-up bar, you're going to be so much better at that. All right? So let's do a few more repetitions. All right? Form is good here. Shoulders are under the bar. Abs are engaged. Ready? Exhale here. Inhale. Everything tight, all right? Using your back, your lats to pull you up. Squeeze, all right? And you can hold it here, all right? Down and up. Good. Key thing: you don't want to strain your neck. You want to keep it straight, okay? So you're using all the muscles in your upper back to pull you up. All right? So again. Just try it out. I don't care if you do two reps. Just start out very slow and at your pace. So get three sets in using your body weight. Okay? You can start at doing 10 repetitions, then eight, and then six. If you advance, you can increase your repetitions. But work at your pace. All right? So now I'm going to move on to the second back exercise. All right, guys, so this is our second back exercise. It's called the lat pull down. And we're gonna do the wide grip pull downs, okay? Now, again, you wanna make sure that the equipment is adjusted to your height, all right? So let's check this out. So basically, you wanna sit on the pad here, and you wanna make sure that your legs are flush underneath this pad, okay? You all locked in and secure. All right, so this is the form, right? Abs are engaged, chest is up, and you're gonna lean back just a little bit, okay? So this is the form on the lap down, pull down machine. And we're gonna use the wide grip, okay? So basically, guys, you're gonna use the, this bar right here. And you wanna make sure your hands are placed out wide. You wanna make sure that they're even, all right? So let's try this out. Top. All right. Weight is good. So you want to grab the handles first and then sit down. All right. 
position your feet under the pad properly. I'm nice and secure here. Weight is good. My arms are even across. All right, abs are engaged, chest is up. We're gonna lean back just a little bit. So basically guys, you wanna bring this bar down even with your chin, all right? So you wanna go up. Now when you're going up, you wanna make sure you don't rock your elbows, all right? Okay, so you wanna exhale down, inhale coming up. Ready, let's go. Exhale, inhale. Don't lock your elbows, okay? Nice and soft. Keeping that form. All right, this feels real good. Look at that. Squeezing those lats to pull this bar down. Squeeze. Those muscles in your upper back. Squeeze. All right. So now I want to show you what it looks like from the back. Now guys, remember, when you stand up, Pull this bar down, position your feet, and then when you are releasing it, basically you just want to stand up slowly, okay, and put the bar back. All right, so, so let's take a look at what it looks like from the back. Now we're going to do it from the back so you can see what it looks like from the back, all right? So check it out. was helpful and remember guys you want to do three sets okay start with a lighter weight and I want you to do 15 repetitions second set increase your weight decrease your repetitions to 12 third set increase your weight just a little bit more or stay where you at then decrease your repetitions to 10 I hope that information was helpful all right guys now we're going to move on to chest press all right so basically, this is the chest press machine here. Now again, you always want to check the equipment to make sure it's adjusted to your height. All right, so one thing you want to know also is that you want to make sure your shoulders are aligned with the handle. So my shoulders are aligned here. I feel comfortable here, so this position is good for me. Now remember, when you're doing chest press, guys, this is the form here. You're at a 90 degree angle and basically you're just pushing forward. Don't lock your elbows as you extend out. Come back in to a 90 degree angle. Keep the tension on the muscle here. The moment you go back, you just took the tension off the muscle and now you're doing a little bit of strain in here. So 90 degree here, push out, in, push out. All right, so let's demonstrate. All right, feet are flat on the floor. Back is flush against the pad here, abs are engaged, everything is stabilized here. Check my weight, I'm good to go. All right, position my hands here, get my form, and exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Now as you can see, there's a little pad here at the bottom here. This is for a little assistance if you need it, okay? So only if you need it, use this pad to help push it down as you're doing your exercise, okay? Like so, all right? So you shouldn't have to need it, okay? So I'm gonna increase my weight just a little bit here just to demonstrate a little bit more. Chest is up, abs are engaged, legs are nice and tight, feet are flat on the floor. All right, position and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Focus on that chest and push forward, all right? And there you have it. So again, you wanna do three sets, guys. Start at a low weight, and I want you to start at repetitions of 15, 
Second set, increase your weight, decrease your repetitions to 12. Third set, increase your weight, and then decrease your repetitions to 10. All right? Three sets. Now, we're going to move on to the second chest exercise. All right, guys. Now, this is the second chest exercise that we're going to do for the day. Now, this is the chest fly machine. Now, basically, you want to make sure that your handles are properly positioned here. It's at 90 degrees here, so you can adjust it like so. All right? Just want to make sure that it's even across the board. All right, so we had a 90 degree angle here. My height of my seat. Level here. Position correctly. So when you sit down, guys, again, you want to make sure your shoulders are aligned with the handles here, right? It's aligned. Seat is comfortable here. Going for this, feet are flat on the floor. Chest is flush against the pad here. And as always, abs are engaged. Chest is slightly up, all right? So, I'm going to grab the handles here. And as you see, you're at a 180 degree angle. So basically, guys, you just want to squeeze in here, all right? Now, you want to make sure that your elbows are soft and don't knock them on the way back. So you're getting that full stretch. Squeeze here. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale here, and exhale. All right, see that? Inhale, get that stretch, but don't go beyond that 180 degree mark because you're going to put a lot of stress on your shoulders, okay? Squeeze, right? It's almost like you've got a pencil in the middle of your chest and so you just want to squeeze to keep that pencil right there, all right? Inhale here and exhale. Inhale, exhale, all right? So that is your form for your chest flies. Again, it's like this, 180 degrees, it's like you're hugging a big pole. All right. Now, I want you to do three sets. Start with a lower weight, 15 repetitions on the first set. Second set, increase your weight just a little bit. Decrease your repetitions to 12. Third set, increase your weight and then decrease your repetitions to 10. All right? So I hope that information was helpful, guys. And always remember, consistent, healthy eating plus exercise equals your life. So just keep it simple.